this letter. Pure Vanilla Cookie must have sent it after he left for Beast Yeast. There are countless rumors about that place. I wonder what he has seen there. My dear friend, I hope this frantically written letter reaches you as soon as possible. Please forgive me for any incoherence, for there is simply so much I have to tell you about. I can't believe I'm actually writing this, but I met White Lily Cookie here. Luckily, enough of the light of freedom remained for White Lily Cookie to return to her true self. I wish this message only had good news, however. Dark Cacao Cookie. Ancient demons called Beast Cookies roam these lands. We were all shocked to learn that these Beast Cookies were the first owners of the Soul Jam. I know it's hard to believe, but it seems that our Soul Jams are connected to the power of these Beast Cookies. Now that they have awoken, they will attack us to reclaim their lost Soul Jams. Dark Enchantress Cookie plans to use this to her advantage to start another war. Dark Cacao Cookie, at this rate, our soul jams, our kingdom, even our beloved friends will all be in great danger. Who dares threaten the great Dark Cacao Kingdom? And worse, who dares lay a hand on my almighty Choco Blade once again? Since the kingdom's foundation, I have defeated countless foes who have come seeking my power from far and wide. I even crossed blades with Dark Choco Cookie to protect my sword. My very own son. Your Majesty, I have an urgent message to relay. Legions of cake monsters have been spotted on the outskirts of the kingdom. The unnamed tower built by those monsters is close to reaching the sky. This cannot be. We must prepare for battle at once. Round up the soldiers. Yes, your majesty. First beast beast. Now a tower built by cake monsters. Is that wind chimes that I hear? Seems like another cold spell will soon reach the Dark Cacao Kingdom. and they're coughing up flour. <coughs> Where should we put the patients? There are no more beds available. We're at full capacity. You're still decocting more medicine, right? Yes, we're running low on herbs. I'm making the medicine as quickly as possible, but I can't keep up with the number of patients coming in. Oh, is our kingdom doomed? How could this have happened? What's the status of the treatments? Caramel arrow cookie. We're doing the best we can, but the pale ailment is simply spreading too fast. The cookies are turning more pale and sickly by the minute. I see it now. A world of pure white, soft, radiant, and breathtakingly beautiful. This is not our time. We must return to flower from which we once came. Is all this nonsense a symptom of the pale ailment as well? Yes, it would seem so. Most of it sounds like gibberish, but it all comes down to the same thing. That we must return to flower. But please, pay it no mind. Everyone is delirious with fever. They have no idea what they're saying. We warriors of the Dark Cacao Kingdom, who stand at the crossroads between life and death, have always worshipped the all-encompassing darkness of black. Seeing these cookies dough turn white, and hearing them begging to return to flower is... bizarre, to say the least. I must inform His Majesty at once. No, Your Majesty! You mustn't! It's not safe, Your Majesty! What's all this noise? Uh, Your Majesty! How did you... 
did you just come back from the mysterious tower? Are you unscathed? Yes. I managed to meet a cookie who calls herself the Lord of the Heavens. If that accounts for anything. But I see that a plague has taken over the kingdom while I was away. What is all this? No, Your Majesty, you mustn't enter! What if the patients infect you with their disease, or worse, madness? We must protect the Royal Dome, for it is our sworn duty! They may be ill, but they are still my subjects. Watching over the cookies of this kingdom is my sworn duty. Even so! Did you not care for and treat these patients, despite knowing you might become infected in the process? What I am doing is no different. As expected of His Royal Majesty. He cherishes his kingdom and subjects above all else. Are you certain that this is due to the flower storm that has blown over from east to east? Yes, Your Majesty. A, a few days ago, a fine white mist enveloped the entirety of the kingdom. Soon after, we started getting patience. The white spreading from the tips of their dough. <laughs> And, as you can see, Your Majesty, they're coughing up flour as well. This is indeed flour. But how? Just let the flour take over. I just want it to be over. So powdery. Please, make it stop. Excuse me. Please, Your Majesty, don't get too close to the patients. It is fine. Worry not. I must hear what this fellow is saying. Your Majesty, Dark Cow Cookie. Mm. All this time we've worn black clothes, eaten black foods, and been surrounded by black walls. This kingdom of ours is so cold, barren, and draining. But I have found a way out of this suffering. Tell me the way, then. We must become flower once more, your majesty. The white radiance is free and light. It will liberate us. I shall return to flower. Free me from this painfully stiff dough. <laughs> Please, this patient needs rest. The situation is more dire than I thought. Think they want to return to flower. It is almost blasphemous to think that the storm from Beast Yeast has caused such a devastating plague. Beast Yeast? What in Cacao's name is happening there? It's been hours since His Majesty excused himself. I wonder what he's thinking. Of course. I will follow his lead no matter what he chooses. Warriors, I ask for you to watch over the kingdom in my absence. I am leaving for Beast Yeast. Huh? But, Your Majesty! I sense that a force lurking in Beast Yeast is targeting me. Someone who plans on stealing my sword, to be exact. This unknown entity has infected my subjects with this terrible ailment in pursuit of seizing my sword. Truly, a cruel and malicious deed. Instead of allowing this malevolent force to wreak havoc upon my kingdom, I shall journey to Beast Yeast and eradicate the source of this problem. If I leave, this flower storm will soon die down as well. That is right. As long as I leave, your Majesty, you mustn't go on your own. Please, let me protect you and the kingdom. I shall join you as well. I'm more than happy to join if I can be of help. Me too, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, you cannot yes. go alone. Please, yes, Your Majesty, take me. Let me let go with you. you. I will protect you. Please. To think that there are so many of you willing to risk your life for me. As expected of my dark cacao warriors. 
I request His Majesty's counsel. We need cookies to guard the kingdom while you're away. Commander, you stay here. You must protect the wall. No, I must follow and protect His Majesty. His Majesty is entrusting the safety of the kingdom to you because of your excellent skills and outstanding spirit. My spirit is outstanding? Really? My king, the only way to beast Yeast is by crossing the Licorice Sea. Yes, but how? Long, long ago, a vessel was built specifically to cross those dark waters. Its hull reinforced with hard cacao bean shells. For some unknown reason, the Licorice Sea waters have been calmer lately. As such, I recommend using this ship in your crossing. Your Majesty, navigation will be of the utmost importance on this journey. As you follow the coastline, turn starboard at the large boulders. After that, you must ride the wind southeast. Continue sailing onwards until you encounter a large whirlpool. Then turn port side when you see white foam. Remember to avoid the areas marked red on the map at all costs. Sail onwards, and you will soon make landfall on the continent of Beast Yeast. And please, take this with you. It's a cacao tablet made by the healer cookies. Eat it when the fog gets too thick, and you'll come right back to your senses. I thank you for your care. Now then, we must take our leave. What was that noise? Sorry I'm late. I had to gather the pack. Your Majesty, I shall join you. Just as I have protected the rough and dangerous borders of the kingdom, I shall stand by your side, Your Majesty. Crunchy chip cookie. Shouldn't you be in the mountains? The kingdom is in grave danger, and you expect me to stand idly by? If there's anyone who dares attack our king and beast yeast, my cream wolves will be ready to attack. Very well. My valiant warriors, infused with the essence of bitter cacao within your doze, swear on the very edge of my sword. Yes, Your Majesty! Remember this land where the black and white dragons fought. Remember the giant wall that protected us from the endless stream of beasts and monsters from the licorice sea. Now, we will become the wall that protects this world. Even if what awaits us is but an endless abyss, I shall lead the way with my sword in hand. Dark Cacao Warriors, heed my call! <laughs> to Beast East. But isn't it strange? I've never seen the licorice sea so calm. I barely felt a whisper of a breeze. Right? It almost felt like someone was watching over us. Crunchy Chip Cookie, what are you doing? <sighs> there were a bunch of licorice monsters lurking in the depths of the water, all curled up and motionless, yet their eyes remained unblinking and alert. And some of them looked right up at me. Are you afraid? This is merely the beginning of our journey, you know. What? No! I'm not scared! It was just kind of creepy, that's all! <laughs> if you say so. You laughing? No, no, of course not. Mm. That scent of raw flour in the air. The flour fog is thick in this area. Uh, won't we be infected with the pale ailment if we come in contact with the fog? If we were scared about that, we wouldn't have come here in the first place! Mm. 
Let us share this cacao tablet. Our heads must remain clear, even in the fog. Oh, um, um. <laughs> oh so bitter! <laughs> what on earth bread is this made of? Not even the cacao nibs I first ate as a child were this bad. Ugh. I suppose they made it super bitter so that we'd come to our senses. Mmm, that was good. You're all so weak. Your Majesty, up ahead. The white fog is coming right at us like a huge wave. We will get swallowed up by the fog at this rate. Everyone, stay alert and do not lose your way. Do not worry, Your Majesty. It's nothing my instincts can't guide me through. Just follow me. My senses are as good as the cream wolves themselves. Crunchy Chip Cookie? Where are you? Crunchy Chip Cookie, answer me! I was so confident just a moment ago. Where is everyone? I can't see a thing. Uh, Your Majesty, over here! Caramel Arrow Cookie, are you nearby? Caramel Arrow Cookie! Dark Cacao Warriors, answer me! It can't be. I have lost sight of everyone already. This dense fog. Cover my eyes no more! I shall blow it all away with a slash of my sword. <laughs> There. Face my sword. Ah! They read the movement of my sword. What skill? Your Majesty, it's me, Caramel Arrow Cookie. There he is. Look, we found His Majesty. What a relief that we found each other again. Ah, this fog is obscuring my vision. I cannot see a thing. Caramel Arrow Cookie! Yes, Your Majesty. Forever loyal to the King, it is I, Caramel Arrow Cookie. Crunchy Chip Cookie! Yes, Your Majesty. I am Crunchy Chip Cookie, His Majesty's proud warrior. And my Dark Cacao Warriors! Yes, Your Majesty! Glory to the Dark Cacao Kingdom! And what of the rest? We have lost track of the other warriors, Your Majesty. We're the only ones left. We faced a big setback so soon! The thick fog all but swallowed up our dark cacao warriors! They will be close by, so do not worry. We will find them once the fog settles. 
must be someone who controls this fog. We must find them. 